Hey guys, still here and welcome back to some more naval art. Today I'm not designing an aircraft carrier because <laughs> my design skills aren't nearly as good as those of Admiral Bofors. He's the one who created this Essex-class aircraft carrier. It looks fantastic. Especially what I like about it is the hull shape, something that I generally look at first because I always struggle with it. He decided to go for the adjustable blocks, and as you can see, several different layers. First you got the, well, I suppose the keel if you will. Starts out at a very, very narrow width, and eventually from none to four, and then eventually all the way down to 31 width. That's not the total width of the aircraft carrier if you count the anti-air guns that he had positioned here, and these are mounted on also adjustable hull blocks. So it just, it just looks fantastic. I could never design something quite like that. Now some things that you need to know about this carrier is that um, while there is an interior, if I could put aircraft in here, it wouldn't really help. Because putting an aircraft in here doesn't generally affect the way that currently aircraft carriers work. You also got even arresting wires here on the back. Um, arresting wires, again, in the current version of the game, don't do anything. These are just adjustable hull blocks, again. Anti-air, pretty good. Uh, mobility provided by four propellers and two rudders beyond that. Now, what I'm going to do, because that is basically the only thing that I can do, I'm going to arm this thing with seaplanes. Seaplanes are the only, sorry, float planes. They're the only aircraft that you really have, with the exception of the Sea Sprite helicopter. Um, and they all have to be launched from catapults. These are the catapult for seaplanes, not a catapult on the main deck that you would expect to throw aircraft into the skies. That should be coming later, but for now, this is what we have. So, um, history buffs, beware, this might hurt your eyes. Because what I'm going to do is just mount a whole bunch of catapults on the deck and launch seaplanes from them. And it's going to look terrible. Actually, no, let's not put one on a uh, an elevator there, even though the elevator doesn't actually work. It's going to look horrible. And I'm sorry, it is just the way it is. There's not a whole lot that I can do about that. Um, oh, I'm putting them in reverse. My bad. Let's try that again. That's more like it. And I should be able to simply press M and mirror mode them. There we go. So, two in front of the catapults. And quite a few behind them. I'm just going to make sure that these things actually launch forward instead of throwing an aircraft right into the command tower. It doesn't actually do anything. Aircraft currently just clip through, but it is still something that looks pretty silly. So let's try not to have that happen. Mirror, 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 and mirror. And one more. Now then, aircraft panel. I don't have any aircraft, correct? I still need to add those. I'm going to go with the Kingfishers. Of course, normally an aircraft carrier would have something completely different, but this is what we have now. This is what we have for now. And in case you're wondering, why aren't aircraft implemented properly? Keep in mind, the game is being developed by one guy. One guy only. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to just launch these from the middle of the deck, I think. Anyway, one guy means that development time might not be the same as what you would like it to be. It's not like you're going to say, hey, add aircraft carriers, and next week they're going to be here. Afraid not. But if you think you can do better, go ahead and design your own game. I, for one, think that um, what this guy developed all by himself is really impressive. All right, let's mirror these planes. And then put these on the launchers here. And then another two more there. This is a fairly small strike group. And I do imagine that we're going to take a serious amount of losses. Considering that they're not actually set up as dive bombers. Uh, they're just scout planes, basically. That we are going to arm with bombs. 
So aircraft panel, and unfortunately right now, I think you have to do this manually. I can arm this thing with a couple of bombs, but as I mentioned, you have to do this for every single one. The planes are now armed. The catapults have been set to have a takeoff angle of nothing. They're not going to change direction. So now all that is remaining to do is test it out and see if this thing will actually launch aircraft. All right, full ahead. If you press T, you're gonna go into the RTS mode and if you then click aircraft, you're going to launch them. One more. Okay, and there we go. Our aircraft are being launched. Oh, some of them are still trying to launch <laughs> at an angle, uh, but most of them are now airborne. Now, of course, when you're in the testing mode, there are some aircraft that will try and strike you. And they're gonna come in from, I think, over here. Uh, I, I believe that's where the runway is. Yeah, that's where that runway is. I showed that in the previous video where I did the uh, anti-air aircraft cruiser. Oh, sorry, the anti-air cruiser. And there are various different aircraft on there. It looks like I already have one of them coming in. It's just that um, I don't know how to get those on your carrier. I don't know how to do that. Anyway, my aircraft, they are merrily flying circles here. And I can have them engage targets as I see fit. Of course, currently there aren't really any sea targets around. So, since I now know that my aircraft carrier is capable of launching aircraft, it is time to get this thing into an actual fight. Let's see what sort of a battle would be suitable to this uh, lightly air-winged aircraft carrier. Um, I think a Cleveland's a bit much. Atlanta is going to just eat my planes for breakfast. I was a bit big. Let's go after Kirov. Defeat the cruiser Kirov. I will do that. Or at least, I will attempt to do that with my planes. Uh, the Kirov's 18 clicks out. Let's turn tail and head away from that thing. Because my chances of survival are fairly low. Alright, I want to have about half the air wing go there. We're already taking fire. And I want to get the rest of the air wing to go there. The Kirov is over there. I'm effectively doing a dive bombing run with scout planes. So that means that uh, effectiveness is probably going to leave something to be desired. If I can hit it at all. Ow. It's already getting some damage on my carrier. Fortunately, the Essex can take a beating, but we're down to 63,000 hit points out of 70,000. So I really hope that I can very quickly start to eliminate this Kirov. It looks like so far it's just shooting me, not my planes. I'm not sure what sort of an attack angle would be good. But let's switch to some of my planes. There's the Kirov up ahead. Looks like the planes are climbing. Like they're like they are behaving like a dive bomber. Go on, buddy. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fast. Bombs away. Mm-hmm. Well, we did some damage. Citadel! Okay, we did about 11,000 damage with that. But we're not done yet. 1100. Damn. Unfortunately, now, we don't have any bombs. So what happens next? Time to bring them home and see if they're gonna... if they're going to get rearmed. Oh shit, I'm... I'm doing loops. I don't want to be doing loops. 
I should have set my aircraft carrier to turn away from the target. Alternatively, I can try doing some damage with my... What was that? F five, six-inch guns? I might just be able to finish off the Kirov. But of course, if your aircraft carrier starts shooting, then something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> they might be originally planned as anti-air guns, but they can do this. Target destroyed. There we go. Now, are the planes actually going to return to the carrier? The Essex is not having a good time. Mission complete. Yes. But, are you guys going to try and return? And if so, are you going to be rearmed? This is what I want to know for science. It's just one big... <laughs> one big blob of aircraft at this point. I wonder how we're going to take these things back aboard, or if they're just going to sort of plunk themselves back down on the deck. By the time that you're watching this video, this might look hopelessly outdated, as there is a new aircraft carrier mechanic implemented that is going to behave completely different. Looks like they're actually going to do a float plane landing. And then get picked up? I don't know. So what happens now? There! Look at that! Look at that. The thing is... I don't think they're getting rearmed. Because I'm not seeing any more bombs under their wings. So this makes this aircraft carrier basically a one-strike weapon. It's going to hit you once. Yeah. Oh no, actually they are getting rearmed. Yes! I have bombs again. Never mind, scratch that. Not a one-strike weapon. You can use them again. Provided that all of your scout planes have survived the encounter. Yep. That's excellent. Okay, let's go for something bigger. Let's see what sort of a battle would be suitable to this uh, lightly air-winged aircraft carrier. Um... I think a Cleveland's a bit much. Atlanta is going to just eat my planes for breakfast. Iowa's a bit big. Let's go after a Kirov. Defeat the cruiser Kirov. I will do that. Or at least, I will attempt to do that with my planes. Uh, the Kirov's 18 clicks out. Let's turn tail and head away from that thing. Because my chances of survival are fairly low. Alright, I want to have about half the air wing go there. We're already taking fire. And I want to get the rest of the air wing to go there. The Kirov is over there. I'm effectively doing a dive bombing run with scout planes. So that means that uh, effectiveness is probably going to leave something to be desired. If I can hit it at all. Ow. It's already getting some damage on my carrier. Fortunately, the Essex can take a beating, but we're down to 63,000 hit points out of 70,000. So I really hope that I can very quickly start to eliminate this Kirov. It looks like so far it's just shooting me, not my planes. Not sure what sort of an attack angle would be good. But let's switch to some of my planes. There's the Kirov up ahead. Looks like the planes are climbing. Like they're like they are behaving like a dive bomber. Go on, buddy. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fast. 
Bombs away. Mm-hmm. Well, we did some damage. Citadel. Okay, we did about 11,000 damage with that. But we're not done yet. 1100. Damn. Unfortunately, now, we don't have any bombs. So what happens next? Time to bring them home and see if they're gonna if they're going to get rearmed. Oh shit! I'm, I'm doing loops. I don't want to be doing loops. I should have set my aircraft carrier to turn away from the target. Alternatively, I can try doing some damage with my what was that f five six inch guns. I might just be able to finish off the Kirov. But of course, if your aircraft carrier starts shooting, then something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> they might be originally planned as anti-air guns, but they can do this. Target destroyed. There we go. Now, are the planes actually going to return to the carrier? The Essex is not having a good time. Mission complete. Yes. But, are you guys going to try and return? And if so, are you going to be rearmed? This is what I want to know for science. It's just one big... <laughs> one big blob of aircraft at this point. I wonder how we're going to take these things back aboard, or if they're just going to sort of plunk themselves back down on the deck. By the time that you're watching this video, this might look hopelessly outdated, as there is a new aircraft carrier mechanic implemented that is going to behave completely different. Looks like they're actually going to do a float plane landing. And then get picked up? I don't know. So what happens now? There! Look at that! Look at that. The thing is... I don't think they're getting rearmed. Because I'm not seeing any more bombs under their wings. So this makes this aircraft carrier basically a one-strike weapon. It's going to hit you once. Yeah. Oh no, actually they are getting rearmed. Yes! I have bombs again. Never mind, scratch that. Another one strike weapon. You can use them again. Provided that all of your scout planes have survived the encounter. Yep. That's excellent. Okay, let's go for something bigger. After a bit of tinkering with the Essex, uh, she is now a helicopter carrier, <laughs> believe it or not. Some of these are quite close to each other, but even if they do hit each other, I don't believe it's going to cause any negative effects. These are, well, mostly scout helicopters. Um, maybe they were used as, uh, yeah, here, as ASW, 1959. So they're significantly more advanced, and they are also packing some more advanced weapons. These sprites are armed with two Mavericks. So now let's see how well this thing is going to hold up against the Bismarck now. Here we go. I think I'm able to cram more helos on the deck than I am with um, the usual aircraft. So I should have a lot more firepower. Yeah, I got 23 aircraft. Look at that. Looks like we're already taking a hit or two. Turn Essex. And all of my helos. <clears throat> Let's go. We have a battleship to sink. It's only a 17 kilometer flight. Hold on. Why are you not even... They're not attacking. 
Why is that? Did they already launch their missiles? From 15 clicks out? Really? I suppose it's possible, but... Where are the missiles at? They're definitely not at the Bismarck, because the Bismarck's fine. They don't seem to be underway. It's not like the missiles are airborne. So I don't quite understand where the missiles have gone. But it does seem <clears throat> like these helos do not feel like they want to attack anymore. Well, no, actually, sorry, they were in the air. They just took the Bismarck down to half health. Nice. Okay, everybody, get back. So you got launch missiles from about 20, 25 clicks? That's impressive. Now I do wonder if we can have these helos land on the deck. While we're moving. I'm still doing 27.5 knots, and despite taking some damage, I should still be able to get out of range of the Bismarck. Well, maybe not stay at outside the range of the Bismarck, or get outside the range, but at least keep them at the range that they're at currently. Especially, ideally, if Bismarck took a hit to their engineering. Now they definitely took a big chunk of damage. So this performance is already better than what we have seen from the previous attack. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, definitely merging into one helo at this point. They are supposedly coming home. Again, I need a quick way to get back to my CV. I'm not sure if there is one. That was another damaging hit to the Essex. I really wonder how these helos are going to approach. Are they going to move to the last known location, or do they have a sort of an approach vector for the Essex? Because it is a helipad. It's not required that they approach from the aft or the side or whatever. They can basically go whichever way they please. So, what's the, pl what's the plan here with my uh, <clears throat> one big flying helo group? They're slowly turning. And they're definitely getting closer. I'm doing 30 knots, but surely a helo can do more than 30 knots. Just to be sure, I'll slow down and see if they are able to land. Because if I can deliver another strike with this many helicopters against the Bismarck, she should be out of commission. Despite her efforts to continuously try and shell me. And especially considering that if you can do this with an aircraft carrier that's filled with missiles, um, just imagine what this thing can do against what we had previously. The Kirov, the Scharnhorst, they should be very, very easy targets. It's like the Helos are still trying to catch up, but at a very low speed. I'm only doing 15 knots. Well, they're slowly losing speed, but retrieving a helicopter is definitely something that I would like to see happen a bit faster. We're doing 10 knots, but because I'm going so slow, I'm taking a lot more damage. And I'm afraid that the Bismarck is closing. Come on, buddy. Land, all of you. Be quick, before I don't have an aircraft carrier to land on. I'm really curious to see what the aircraft carrier mechanics are going to look like in 6 months to 12 months. Just to see how the game is going to evolve. They're going awfully low. It seems like they're using the same animation as the scout planes. The float planes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely the same animation. <laughs> if they're trying to land on the water. Oh well. I can't blame them. So they're stopping. 
and they're just floating, I guess. But they have been retrieved. And I'm not dead yet. I have definitely taken some hits to modules. Most problematically, the uh, the engine. I'm still gaining speed. Are my helos getting rearmed yet? If so, you can see. Yep. Yep. They're rearmed. All of them? Wow, that was fast. That was very fast. Impressively so. Okay, in that case. Let's just launch a few. Because I think that... Oh, there's one. I wonder when they launch their missiles. Let's see. There we go. That's 16 kilometers out. Hold on. Did everybody just launch their missiles? Yes. Okay. Um, you could kind of cheat. I see this as a potential problem. Because if I can just launch missiles without my helo having to take off at all, I can install helicopters on the deck. They don't even need to be able to take off. And they can just easily send their missiles. And I can keep moving. So, with the current mechanics, I'd recommend against using helicopters. At least in a fight like this. Because while you might not be able to see them, those helos are definitely en route. Hits. There we go. Look at the Bismarck taking damage. That was another 14 hits. And a couple of modules getting neutralized. And these guys are doing snorkeling, I think. Anyway. Interesting mission. Interesting attack. Uh, I hope you guys had a good laugh out of this one. Of course, the game is still in development. And that means that these mechanics are simply not finished. But I wanted to have a look at them anyway. Thank you for watching. Hope you get a good laugh. And I'll see you soon for more naval art videos.